welcome on back to Baseless Claims, our casual conversational comedy podcast. My name is Tay, definitely good with computers. My name is Tori, Mad Thompson. My name is Tyler, Little Boy Matheson. Now, is that Aww. mad with two D's or just one D? Are you, well, I are am you, a mother against drunk driving. I was that's, just making that's sure. First and foremost, how I define myself. If I had a bio in life, if I had a log line as a human, it would be I'm a mother against drunk driving and also a mom entrepreneur. So you would also have a link tree there for all your socials so that when you make a post, you can say link in bio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly right. No, I'm just mad because my stupid fat cat broke a shelf off in my house today <laughs> and broke a bunch of shit because he's super fat. He's a boy weighs like. He's like 22 pounds now of just solid fluff and stupidity. You got yourself a Garfield. You got you yourself do. an honest to God Garfield. A real lasagna loving boy. You, you have yourself a Garfield that might be racist. We don't know. We're not sure. I mean, certainly real Garfield is. Oh, yes, of course. But I, I don't know. I beg to differ, but we can just we can hold off on that argument because I know right. it's going to get if that's a heated argument. We'll come. We've back had it. We've later. had the argument a hundred times in our personal lives. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's just one of those we've, we've milked it and yeah, frankly, it, we can't bring it up on the show. Definitely an ag agree to disagree kind of situation. Real ones know how racist Garfield is, yeah. but anyway, Tyler, you are a little boy and <laughs> look, I don't mean to spoil the whole bit here, but. You got yourself a haircut, and damn, you look like a child, like a yeah. little infant boy. They gave, look they like gave me the back-to-school special. <laughs> they <laughs> really did give you that back-to-school special. And it's it, not like, a like oh, I'm going to college to reinvent myself. Like the, I'm going to sixth grade, Mom. Please don't let the shit get kicked out of me. I want to <laughs> blend in. No, it's, I didn't even want the haircut. Like, it looks like I didn't want the haircut. It looks like I was actively fighting with someone while they were yeah, giving it to me. It definitely does. And the worst part about this whole conversation is that this is an extremely visual bit. And we have to fucking describe it in excruciating detail. Well, I think everyone knows. I think everyone is very clear with the brain picture of, like, the sixth grade boy back to school haircut that his parents made him get to look presentable at school. And it's like, right. it's the, fa I'll be honest. It's the fantastic Sam special of yes, haircuts. Exactly, exactly. I got yeah, this yeah, haircut really for $5 is what it looks like. Yeah. Just look up mm -hmm. like middle school boy haircut and y you'll get the picture. You have to add the haircut, though. That is very crucial in your Google yes, search. Yes, you yes, must yes. add haircut to the Otherwise, end. you got to make sure you have a VPN on. Because <laughs> you... Nope. I think that we should probably just across the board say, just add the haircut. There's no yeah. reason you should no. have to look up the other 100% add the haircut. But like while you're like going over to the key to like hit H, if your thumb slips and you hit like enter and like on accident, on you know <laughs> the button that's six sure. keys away well yeah. no like yeah on your you phone, know sometimes you know like on your phone sometimes you can have slip ups so you might oh, okay. just end up typing like middle school but and then accidentally hit it yeah, if you, you do that, that i would just i'm just saying as extra precaution make sure you got a vpn on before you do the google search regardless because then the FBI won't come knocking right away. They'll have to, like, retrace it a couple times. Yeah, bounce that th shit through China mm -hmm. and give them, a, give them a real journey to look through. You know, all VPNs should just end in China, right? They, they, we ain't getting that data back. <laughs> uh-uh. Yeah, re really, that's got to be the thing, right? That's got to be the yeah. kicker. Yeah. Like, we get to use, we get the benefit of, like, the World Wide Web, and they mean worldwide because I can watch Netflix Canada, which is, honest to God, way better than U.S. Netflix. I can watch so many of my favorite TV shows. This sounds like we're leading into a NordVPN Yeah, it, it literally app. does sound like uh, a NordVPN app. I promise we're app. not about to lead into a no. Okay. All right. We can't fucking do it for this long, Tyler. All right. <laughs> Look, if they're not paying us, they don't get any free. Just because you love going to Canada Netflix and watching your little Justified show because you love those dang cowboys. They're so fun. Is, I thought what? Justified was a Nickelodeon one with Victoria Justice. No, that's Victorious. Victorious. But 
Honestly, can you blame I me? I think that's something Not you really. Yeah, that, that's something maybe you should pitch. Pitch. It can be a new a new product from Snyder's Bakery. Paramount Plus is doing like Nick shows rebooted. Why yeah. don't yeah? They, they brought back iCarly, which is a super good idea. Yeah, if they can bring back iCarly, they do a sequel to Victorious called, <laughs> and then it's called Victorious Justified, which is which is the <laughs> funniest. If that was someone's name, that is the funniest fucking name. That is the most like. <laughs> Like lawyer ass name, you know that meme of like the like ninety seven Japanese baseball game where they were trying to come up with American oh, player names. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like great image. Dirk Trucksworth. <laughs> and the, yeah. That sounds. It sounds like that. Like victorious, justified. <laughs> it literally does. Could just be a great crossover. Like Walton Goggins comes in, and you're, they're just like, "Holy shit, this things are about to get wild." They start like six shooting at Victoria Justice. Like <laughs> that could be a really gritty kind of take on the the Nickelodeon mm-hmm. properties. It's it's Victor- it's victorious, but set in a post apocalyptic America. <laughs> they literally open with the opening scroll from Terminator Two. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, exact unedited same one, unedited, yeah. yeah. But it still takes place within a very musical high school. Yeah, I was gonna say, and then like that's where they found shelter. Like the the Terminator Two scroll like ends, and then it's just the, the Victorious theme song, like like really upbeat, happy song. I'd love for Ariana Grande to walk in in the first episode and just get fucking brutally murdered because they're like, look, we can't afford. She was willing to reprise her role for all of five minutes but we cannot afford her anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those episode royalty checks she would be getting is astronomical. We have to have her killed by a T-9000 fucking immediately. <laughs> yeah. Like, we can pay for her likeness to be on screen for five seconds, so we'll just have a magazine clip out of her concert that got blowed up or something. Like, yeah. it's fine. And they're like, oh, no, the, the, ter- the, the principal nader did it. The principal nader. Yeah, because it's still got to take place within a musical high school, and the principal is an evil Terminator. Wait, was Victorious's... Wait. Was that a musical high school? I thought it was just a regular high school. It was like a performing arts high school. No. Was it? You know what? I I just had a thought of actually the best one to bring back, which would be Ned's Declassified Post-Apocalyptic Survival Guide. That's the best. That's the best that's the best string of words i think you've ever had on this show tori holy yeah fuck. it's very good it's that's very good very, stuff. Very and look good. do i think do i think he's doing much these days no i think he'd probably be pretty happy to get back on the old wagon here and start making some, <laughs> no some he's TV. buff now yeah he's huge good honestly yeah, that, that only that only makes this better yeah he's already in shape for the role it really adds to the world like if they just you know put him in makeup a little bit like give him like a couple scars make him look a little grittier like cookie has like in inst- cookie <laughs> like lost one eye and made like yep. a cybernetic <laughs> eye <laughs> coconut head is leading the alt-right rebellion <laughs> I'm just no, I'm no, just we really can't. Ready. They have to be fighting against it because I want to root for the characters in this show. I don't want. Cook- yeah, no, he's he's the villain character. He's the big bad from season one. Cookie? No, Coconut Head. Oh, Coconut Head. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. Oh my god, Coconut Head would be a proud boy. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I'm just waiting for like the the teaser trailer of like the 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 notebook that says like Ned's declassified and then it's all There's like blood splatters <laughs> yeah, all over it. Yeah, it's like all it. scratches stuff so you can't read it, but it's like blowing in the wind and then a boot stomps on it. And then you see the camera pans And then the up. camera like kind of pans. Oh my god, that's actually so <laughs> sick though, for real. <laughs> and it's just Ned with a bow and arrow, like a compound bow. And he's it's just literally just it. Oh my god, Wait, that's so why did they rad. why did they not make this instead of the Last of Us show? This is way better. <laughs> this, honestly, like, and, and look, I'm, I have high hopes. I love The Last of Us, but like, boy, would I rather watch Ned's Declassified Post-Apocalyptic Survival Guide. That Absolutely. sounds like a hoot and a holler. The name itself is so good. Like, okay, okay, now we got to have like the rules in Ned's okay. Declassified mm-hmm. Post-Apocalyptic sure. Survival Guide. What is like rule number? Okay, okay. I'm going to look up right now. <laughs> 
what the rules are in Ned's Declassified. Sure. During the first day, just relax. Be yourself and don't panic. Try to make new friends and get to know your teachers for the year. Everything is the same, except teachers is changed to, to law enforcement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like warring factions or something. Like you, yes, I, I agree. You do want to make friends. Stay relaxed. It's going to be tough, but sure, stay relaxed. But you definitely want to make comrades in this apocalyptic mm-hmm. world. I guess we also have to decide what kind of post-apocalypse is this. Is this infected? Is this, this is Mad Max nuclear. universe? Mad Max universe. Okay, so there's oh, okay. like no more water and shit. Like this is essentially think of like think of like Mad Max mixed with Fallout. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking Fallout. Yeah, it's like a very like it's Fallout, but with that extra edge of like crazy Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) some wacky joker shit going on and honestly you could just read these rules but do it in a gruff voice and it works like hit me with rule number two then yeah that's with rule number two if you're new don't sweat it talk to some people yeah yeah that that just works you need to get some water some food probably shelter maybe a weapon or two like that just makes sense (laughs) well hold on if this is like Fallout and shit, you don't know who you can trust. But you gotta have friends. So just walking up to a random group of marauders and just being like, Hi, friends, I'm new to the post-apocalypse. You're just gonna die. Bathrooms? Go when everyone else is gone. That could be like, go, That's okay. go yeah. when you've finished your business. Like, once everyone has either vacated the area and it's safe, or like you've killed everyone, then you're good to go. Yeah. I don't remember this episode. Take advantage of the school's, quote, other, end quote, bathrooms. What does that mean? What does huh. that mean, Ned? I think they mean, like, faculty bathrooms and custodial bath. Like, they, they don't mean, like, I don't think they I'm mean, I'm pretty like, sure yeah, Ned yeah, said just go- shit in your locker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're thinking of, like, oh, a bathroom is more of a state of mind kind of thing. That's Ned. Ned was a real freak pee in the sinks of the science room okay we've all done that yeah here's a little tip about teamwork so remember when it comes to partnership it's all about teamwork you gotta have your partners back again that just works for the survival guide yeah we don't have to do much like this is kind of adapts one to one yeah don't don't do the crime if you can't do the time is one of them i feel like that needs to get like flipped into like do the crime. Fuck the time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because in a post-apocalypse, no one's going to put you in a jail. It's fine. So who is, who's the teacher? Like, what, what's the version of a teacher in Ned's, in Ned's declassified post-apocalyptic survival guide? Is that like the fascist I mean, it, regime that's in power? Yeah, just like, just like faction leaders. Yeah, it would be whoever's like... It, like the Brotherhood of Steel or something, like wh- whoever's like amassed somewhat of like a formidable force. Mm-hmm. Also, fucking goddamn it, guys! We came up with another really banger TV show idea, and we're not getting any money for this. TM TM TM. I'm gonna shoot an email to Ned. I imagine he's got some sure time. Yeah, he's probably sure. got some pull. DM him. I think I could probably DM him. <laughs> I don't know. This one is wrong. When it's just like. Helping the police doesn't make you a police's pet. Like, no, in the <laughs> post one of Ned's yeah. rules? In the post apocalypse world, <laughs> I just swapped the word teacher for police. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. In the post apocalyptic world, that'll get you killed. Yeah. So absolutely. they got to rip that one out of the book. Yeah. Change yeah. it out. I'm not sure why you guys think there's going to be a police force in the apocalypse, but. Okay. Well, police is just an easier way to say, like, you know, like military regime yeah. that we don't have a name for. It's more of like a loose militia. Are you telling me that like the uh, the Blue Lives Matter crowd wouldn't band together in a post-apocalypse and call themselves the police? Hey, pal, they've done it now. Exactly. That's why I'm saying that it would still exist in the post-apocalypse. Yeah, they would call themselves the police. Being first doesn't help your chances. Remember to get out there, use the sign-up sheet, and practice. <laughs> what? That, okay, so that one's that one's not 
quite there. Yeah, this is like, kind of this is kind of fallen off the rails. <laughs> maybe it's just practice. Maybe it, okay, knows? okay. This one is shooting. this one is on the nose though. <laughs> Tip number eight eighty two: Get the right equipment. Holy uh, yep, shit! Yeah, that works. That Fuck works. Yeah. You got to get a fat man. You got to make sure that you know you got all of your gear ready, all of your weapons. <laughs> Who's the jan- Who's the janitor? All I know is that he voice. I I know it's the voice of Cosmo, and I would like him in this television. I would like him to reprise his role he's for the fun. television show. Like he's really he's a fun, fun guy. The janitor in this universe would be like uh, the scavengers that like pick up the, the bits and pieces. He, that oh, are you know over. what? Yeah, he'd be like yeah, like a traveling like salesman, like Resident Evil Four type, because the janitor's always there to help them. <laughs> what so are like you buying? He's, yeah, he's always <laughs> there. Like, what are you buying, Ned? And he knows how like, he has got like little secret uh, tunnel ways that people don't know about and stuff like that. Like, he, you know, he's there to help you out if you treat him well. That's just so good. Uh, this one is calling me out and I fucking hate this. Don't look like a little boy. <laughs> no. It's for the first day. Get a haircut two weeks early. <laughs> get it two weeks early because this will give it a chance to grow in if it ends up bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a, pretty, that's a safe one. Yep. A hundred percent accurate to your current situation. They, they, I'm look, I don't want to talk about it, but I'm mad. Well, yeah, you should. No, be. That's okay. Yeah. I'm you're allowed ma- to be mad. I'm as allowed to be mad, but I'm a weak individual because I was presented with the, when she was like, do you like it? And I was like, no, I love it. <laughs> oh well <laughs> you beta bitch was she really pretty were you all nervous <laughs> i told her like do you like it yeah really great and then i tipped her 25 <laughs> percent but like let's be real though in that situation are you ever gonna tell your hairdresser no i hate it that's true. She already did. She can't re-add hair. Because every single time they ask that question, you are seated with the cape thing still on, and they do have a pair of sharp scissors in their hand. <laughs> That's true, Tyler. You were kind of at a loss there. Not a whole lot you could do. Mm-hmm. I, was, I mean, you didn't have to tip her 25%, but... Yeah, you, you are, liter- you like are literally 15. under duress in that situation. <laughs> you have to reply, yes, I do like my haircut. It's It's like when the police, like force a guilty confession out of you it's like okay if you just say you like it this will increase your chances at like you know like getting less time in here you know less awkward you won't have to deal with a lot of stuff like come on just take the deal it's not even just police if if i'm offered an opportunity to leave somewhere and go home faster i'm going to take it (laughs) it's fair yeah that's true I, I, I'm just, I can't tell someone like, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm dissatisfied. I don't like it. This is, this is awful. Yeah. The only time I feel comfortable doing that with people is if like one of my friends cooks for me or something. Right. And they're asking like genuine feedback, like, Hey, was this good? Like I experimented. Was this good? I have the balls to say like, it was fine. You could have used less this, that, and the other thing. But like in only that situation, am I comfortable doing that? Yeah, like, I could tell Tori to his face that, like, do you like this? I'd say, no, it sucks. It's really bad. You're mm. probably, you're absolutely, like, worthless as a human being. Inside out, everything. Yeah. I would have no problem. It's like, I'm sorry about this grilled chicken was a little bit dry, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, be, I'd just be like, Tor- do, do you like, like, what do you think about it? I tried a couple seasonings. Tori, you should be dead, Okay. <laughs> You should be killed mm, instantly. Mm. You know, let me take another bite. Hold on. Let me go open the window so you can jump the fuck out of it, you failure. You don't say anything. Like, you just grab your fucking steak knife, bend down, and cut my Achilles tendon. <laughs> That's what I thought of it. it. It was horrible. It was the worst thing. That's what I thought about your bad meat. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that there's less Ned's declassified rules that apl- apply to a poke post-apocalyptic world but well, some of them would have to be updated to like like survival tips not just like social tips to survive like uh like you know don't eat the red berries from a certain bush 
Yeah, like it opens with like Cookie like being held captive and everything, and it's super dramatic. And then he's in like a cave, and he's got like twenty armed people around him. And then there's just this like confusing fight scene where you can't see anything that's going on. You just see people dropping like crazy, and then crunch, crunch, crunch on the sand, and then get up, Cookie. We got another guide to write. And then he grabs him and lifts him <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, just a dramatic shot of their hands meeting with like a beautiful backlight and mm-hmm. boom, there you go. And I think we can all agree the overarching rule of this entire thing is survive at all costs. Yep. Oh, it's got to be the original cast, but I love to see Pedro Pascal and his beautiful mustache in that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there's we nothing would. there's nothing to say that we can't add characters in now that it's a new season. Yeah. True. I mean, Pedro Pascal was in Wonder Woman 84, which was not good, but that dude hammed it up like a motherfucker. That dude deserves a second shot as a villain. Yeah, well, you're forgetting about Kingsman 2, Electric Boogaloo. (laughs) He was also a villain in that, and also, like, those movies are cheesy, but, like, in the right way. No, no, I think you're talking about two kings, two men. (laughs) <laughs> that's, that's what that is the one my bad my bad it's very good that that's why they're doing the origin story coming out this year which is the king's man like they're going backwards oh okay yeah so this one will be yeah, like will, one king one man that's why it's king yeah. man wait i thought the one coming out now is the king's man tokyo drift but what about the king's speech no, that one that one was an offshoot it's the same universe? Same universe? Okay, right. yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, it's one of those. It's a, it, it's a Kingsman story. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good bit. <laughs> hey, so you guys know how I'm, like, the, the, the techie girl of the group, right? I, like, do computers and shit. Self-declared, but sure. Self-declared. You can fucking work with me on this. I don't yeah. have to. Everyone, everyone is always, like... Tay, we don't know what to, how do I open Outlook? Tay! <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't even be able to, like, operate a mouse and keyboard if it weren't for Tay. I have no idea. Like, I looked at it, and she was like, okay, just, like, type in your password. And I was like, I don't know what that is. I'm scared, Tay. Fuck you. I'm so scared. Can you hold my hand through this? You're, you're the give tech me smooch, girl. Give me, hey, Tay, give me a little smooch. I'm scared. You're you're the technical director of this podcast because like I don't know I don't know shit about microphones. I don't know a damn thing. I'm so scared. Okay, whatever. Okay. I deal with computers, okay? Fuck you. So, I recently upgraded my rig and I was putting the final touches in. It was booting, got to Windows and everything, perfectly fine. I upgraded the processor and the motherboard. Nothing huge. But after about five minutes, every time I turned it on, it would just shut off. And I was like, oh, that's not great. So I did all this troubleshooting for about an hour, and it was still happening. And I was losing my mind. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? What do I do? What do I do? And then I looked in the case again, and I realized that uh, the, one of the cords was in the wrong place. And my computer was just overheating a bunch. And I changed it, and it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me you didn't replace the motherboard with a father board because that's a real upgrade i think it would be but father boards are more server based instead of like uh home pc guys can you please explain what you're talking about i'm scared i don't know (laughs) if tay's not explaining everything to me i don't know what's going on well you see tyler the motherboard is the thing that tells every other component in your computer what to do so it like breastfeeds the rest of the computer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it, bud. You got it. Yeah, it, it it puts its milk of life into the other components of the rig. I think I'm starting to understand a little bit about computers thanks to <laughs> Tay. And then like the 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 music comes in for like a kid's TV show learning about computers. Tech time with Tay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, writing that down. A children's show about using computers, and it's like, remember. If you're in an online game and you're losing, just type out a racial slur. <laughs> <laughs> it's 100% proven effective. Remember to tell all of your opponents to use Alt F4 for that secret boost. 
Remember, kids, you don't make mistakes. The game just makes mistakes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. Remember, it's not your fault. You can just blame it on lag. <laughs> you can just throw your controller and say, oh, this stupid fucking game. Yeah. But no, I, I did I did do a big whoopsie and just plugged oh, we've one all been cord there. in the wrong place. And that's just what happened. And that was the only thing. We've all been there. We've all made goofy mistakes. Hey, mm-hmm. think about it this way. At least you didn't pay 50,000 motherfucking dollars to go to school for one specific technical thing. And then you spend about 25 minutes trying to figure out why the fuck can't I hear anything? And you realize your headphones aren't plugged in. I've definitely done something similar, though. Like, Yeah, but the... at least you didn't spend 50 grand on the front end. True, true, true. You don't have this cloud of debt that's just, like, hovering over you, making you feel the shame of the <laughs> most simple mistake. The the thing the thing that I'm thinking about, though, not only is this, this one that I was just describing where the cord was plugged into the wrong place, but as of recent memory... Like four separate times, I have plugged HDMI cords in incorrectly. <laughs> not like it was upside down, but like I plugged in one device to another and not into the TV. Oh yeah, I I I legit. <laughs> That's my favorite one because it's <laughs> it looks so fucking stupid when it you does. do it. Like I accidentally like I lost the wires behind my TV because it's a fucking nightmare back there, mm-hmm. or at least it mm-hmm. was. But, like, I ended up feeding a wire down, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll take this and then, like, put it into the TV. What I didn't realize is I plugged in one end to the TV and then got them mixed up when I went to grab the wire and then just plugged the other end into the TV as well. <laughs> so it was just <laughs> one big <laughs> HDMI loop. It was an <laughs> infinite loop of visual media, yeah. Tyler. You created, a, frankly, it could be the new green power source. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, oh. what I did in this specific instance <coughs> was I plugged my Nintendo Switch into my uh, computer that's running my Minecraft server. And when I was trying to go through the TV inputs, I was like, what the fuck is happening? Is something broken? I stopped paying attention after Minecraft server. No, that's completely fair. Like, other games exist. Yeah, there's I more. know. Yeah, there's Apex. Yeah, that's one. There's... A lot of there's a lot of games. I don't follow. Do you play Skyrim? No, that one that one got shut down completely, totally. Yeah, yeah. No there's, one can log on. It's crazy. Could you imagine <laughs> <sighs> if there is just no more Skyrim, like just a light switch gone? Imagine there's no heaven. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bliss moment. <laughs> imagine, like, if oh, they you shut down can. Skyrim, and I'm just. Imagine all the people. <laughs> but it's Todd Howard singing. <laughs> <laughs> for We're so excited to announce the PS5 upgrade for Skyrim is we're shutting down the game. Yep, you guys it's had just enough. Gone. It's gone. Go play Fallout 76, you stupid fuck. <laughs> now, um, I spent money uh, this week. Oh, oh, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, I mentioned I have the 50K in debt, so, like, mm. I mean, it's a pretty big deal to spend the money. Um, right. Because I, 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 I saw this, and, and I couldn't pass it up. And, uh, Tori, could you do me a, uh, a favor, please? Sure. I'm going to hold this up. Could you please uh, read uh, what I found at this antique store out to the people? Oh, no. Garfield Big Fat Harry Joke Book. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Ooh, ooh what a fine! And it says at the top, laugh along with America's number one cat. Oh, hell Now, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, is that when people refer to, like, in quotes, the good book, are they referring to Garfield's Big Fat Harry Joke Book? What other book would they be referring to, Tori? I was. I wanted to make sure. I thought it might be a James Patterson joint or something, but oh, I, I okay. was pretty sure that it was the Garfield Chuck book. This is the good book. Like I can feel how holy it is. Yeah. And I went mm-hmm. up, like, and it better be because I went up to the front and was like, "How much for the Garfield book?" And he said fifty bucks. And no, I said wait. fifty fucking dollars. And he said, 
What? You think I'm running some kind of bootleg Garfield operation? 65 now. Yeah, Just for fucking it's question. It's a genuine deal. Well, hey, okay, if you want to, there's, a, there's a, a, a great way to tip you off if it's a replica or if it's a, an official. Give it a whiff for me. Oh, yeah, that's real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I what, is, tell. what does it, Wait, what what does it smell like? You're getting a getting little bit of uh, marinara, a <clears throat> little cheese maybe. It's it's a bit smoky, and I do mean like a cigarette. Yeah, that tracks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. Garfield was known to chuff darts. Yeah, and John too. Oh, yeah. No, John has a pipe. Yeah, that, that, tra- that tracks. John got him hooked. Yeah, this is a 1994 original. That's older than I am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you some Garfield jokes. Oh, please. No, I'm ready. I'm ready. These are way better than the pod deck last laugh, so we should just swap to this because it's more on brand and it's funnier. <laughs> Probably. Garfield's big, fat, hairy laugh. <laughs> What's Garfield's favorite type of dog? What? A dead one. <laughs> A hot dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, damn, Garfield. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's some good heat. What kind of dog says meow? Oh, hold on. Are these all just what kind of dog questions? No, there's... No. There <laughs> are... Se- no, big, let me read the chapters of the book. That's a big mature... Okay, all right. <clears throat> the table of contents. Going to the dogs. Welcome to the funny farm. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's Garfield. <laughs> That's chapter three. That's Garfield. Yeah. That's oh, Garfield. Funny With like five A's. So it's like, That's Garfield. Oh, God. Classic. Sports shorts. Hot and cold running gags. Playing cow. Oh, <laughs> playing cat and mouse. Now we're cooking. An Odie, but a goodie. Uh, oh, tis okay. tis the season to be silly. Just nice. for okay. fun. What was that one? Just for fun. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Party on, <laughs> dude. Wayne's World is in this. Fuck yeah. Take two jokes and call me in the morning. I think that's, that's our- about the Plan B pill. I f- I feel like yeah. that's. That I feel like it's a really good like byline for our podcast. <laughs> Take two jokes, <laughs> call, me in call the us in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, because fuck. you listen to baseless claims while you're having sex in the wee small hours of the night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And by wee small hours, we do mean your penis size. Ayo. Oh. Now that you know the table of contents, uh, what kind of dog says meow? Uh. Uh. An undercover police dog. You're under arrest. Oh, That's my really God. Good. That's really good. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, oh, fuck. fuck. Carfield. I would just Garfield, like you to know Garfield. that I did read through this whole book and postmark the one. Yeah, there's, there's about <laughs> Holy 30, shit. There's it's like about a fucking 35 post-it book. notes hanging out of this book. What does a farmer use to count his cows? Uh, a calculator? A calculator. Okay, well, if you guys are going to not be fun about this, then shut up, okay? <laughs> do you want us Is to it guess calculator? or what? You fucking ruined it. No, I don't even want to do okay. that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tell me it. Tell me it. It's calculator. It totally is, isn't it? You guys you guys cheated. This is... Okay. Well, sorry. Let's. We're good actors. Let's go back. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Take no, two. I don't even want to. That one's just not fun anymore. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. We can. We can cut it in. Do it, do it again. No. I don't do wanna. it. No. Tyler, come on. What's the difference between pig slop and Garfield? <laughs> what? What one's, is it, Tyler? One's hog food and the other's a food hog. <laughs> <laughs> this joke book gets a little bit dark at times, and I kind of love it. <laughs> like Good. Jim Davis went wild with this one. He was like, no, Fuck did Jim it. Davis author all of these goofs? <laughs> yeah, Jim Davis penned all of these goofs. How did Garfield stop the rooster from waking him up on Monday morning? 
autoerotic asphyxiation. Suicide. <laughs> he ate him for dinner Sunday night. Uh, that's Jesus good. Christ, Jim <laughs> Davis. Good, Do you good, understand good. what a joke is? I wonder if this is like a Hayao Miyazaki kind of situation where all of his products are whimsical and fun, but when you look at the man behind the jokes, he's just a miserable, sad sack of depression. <laughs> <laughs> I Yes, 100% Jim Davis is depressed. Jim Davis is depressed and he uses Garfield as his creative outlet. He's like, <laughs> I love lasagna and hate Mondays, but... There's not really an audience for that crowd. <laughs> Boy, was he wrong. How did Garfield... Oh, wait, I read that one. <laughs> Sorry, it was so good, I wanted to read it twice. Yeah. Was it Calculator? What? Stop it. Stop. <laughs> Stop. It's not fun when you do that. <laughs> what animal goes gobble, gobble, gobble? Garfield. Garfield when he sees lasagna. Garfield at the dinner table. Yep. That was, that <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim, you're busting my gut, pal. Settle See, down. The, the, the worst part about jokes like that is that they're so Garfield specific. You can't just pop these out at like a random dinner <laughs> you party. Can't. You have to be yeah, at a can't. Garfield convention. <laughs> you basically you have to be dressed as Garfield to <laughs> tell these jokes. <laughs> You can't be on a mixer and like you're talking about stocks and then someone's like, oh, my God, have you guys met my friend Tori? He's so funny. OK, Tori, tell him a joke. I'll be like, uh, you guys know how Garfield counts as cows? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh so I actually don't know the punchline to that one. My friend never told me. Sorry. <laughs> it's so like, oh, he's really funny. Tell a joke. And all you know are Garfield <laughs> jokes. <laughs> like, wow, Tori really likes Garfield. I, I mean, I wouldn't say he really likes it. Like, he's it's fine. But who doesn't See, like Garfield? That would, that would backfire so gloriously, too. Because, like, if you were at a work mixer, literally the next day, there'd be four people in your office holding seven different calendars, all Garfield themed, saying, like, hey, I thought you'd like this. Oh, my God. Oh, for Every your birthday? fucking birthday. Oh, my God. It would be nonstop. It's like Garfield stress toys, Garfield clock, Garfield post-it notes. Oh, my God. You would you would have to leave the country. <laughs> okay, but that's <laughs> or also... Or stay, depending on your love for Garfield. That's way fucking better than the alternative, which is fucking Dilbert stress balls and calendars and mugs. Are we sure... I yes, feel like, 100%. I feel like Dilbert is way funnier than Garfield. No, Garfield I is don't know. way I think funnier. You I are think I might go wrong. with Garfield on that. Uh, Garfield is way funnier because at the end of the day, Garfield is also just silly. Dilbert's ugly as sin, okay? <laughs> Garfield's a chunky little boy. This, um, again, this book, I don't, I, like, I don't think anyone edited this. Like, I think there's Jim, no proof maybe, reader. There was no proofreading done because Jim, Jim just walked into the publishing company and everyone was like, oh, wow, it's Jim Davis, sir. Wow, thanks. And he was like, I'm using your printing press. And like, oh, yes, sure. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> I want 250 million. Of course. Or maybe Jim Davis was he's just really self-conscious about his jokes. They're like, hey, can we just uh, get that for an no, editing pass? And he's I like, wanna. no, I, I look this just me. Can I can look? I'll keep syndicating this comic strip, but can you, this is really important to me. It's very <laughs> personal. I've been working on it for a long time. No one proofread this because, um, let's just say it's not the best look for Garfield. Oh <laughs> let's just, no. Let's just say maybe Garfield's PR needed to take a second look at this one. Oh God. Which group of people does Garfield hate the most? <laughs> <laughs> and it just drops the F slur. <laughs> Like in print. <laughs> Hold on. Quick aside. Did you guys see that article that Matt Damon had to be taught not to use the F slur? <laughs> that was that was yeah. an, that was an yeah. onion post. But yeah, it was very. It good. wasn't. It was legit real. <laughs> what? Really? Yes. <laughs> no, I thought that was like a hard drive article. No. No. Okay, and so then the hard drive the hard drive article title that I saw was <laughs> Matt Damon takes class to learn that the F slur is gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was topical because like he did a whole like article talking about how like he's upset that movie stars don't really exist anymore. Like people are now going to the theater to see like either the franchise or the story and not the actor. 
Like, there's no, like, Hollywood leading people anymore. Like, you don't go just to see a Matt Damon flick. And, and it's like, yeah, Matt, maybe if you stopped making We Bought a Zoo sequels, I'd go <laughs> see some. I don't know. Look, The Last Duel, look, I, I'm intrigued by that one. Yeah, it's Ridley Scott, so I'm going to see it. Yeah, Ben and Matt back at it. Let's do some medieval fighting. And also... It's bad, but at least he at least it's that he stopped and not that I decided I'm done with cancel culture and begins using F slur once again. Mm -hmm. No, but it's just funny that he made it this far. Yeah. Like it's not a great look. Not at all. <laughs> he made it this far. And I guarantee it's because everyone was too nervous to say something to Matt fucking Damon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like international superstar matt damon just called me the f slur <laughs> it's the greatest day of my life <laughs> okay again dad you can't use that word anymore uh, -uh what do we talk about you don't call me dad sorry jason Bourne. <laughs> that's better and he's like having sex with his wife and he's like come on yeah tell me who bought that zoo you bought that <laughs> zoo <laughs> we bought the zoo <laughs> yeah yeah we bought that zoo baby why did Garfield go to the dog pound? Why? He wanted to pound some dogs. <laughs> no. No. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's really good. <laughs> that. Oh, Jim, I pl please tell me you meant fight. <laughs> I think he did. But this oh, obviously. Oh, God. But also, Garfield kind of a freak, though. Garfield kind of a Garfield, freak. Garfield. This is where we get into dog. like. This is organized in such a way where Garfield is getting progressively freakier as I read these jokes. Mm -hmm. uh, should, okay. I, should I drop something that will make you guys really upset? No. What's Garfield's favorite type of story? A short story? A furry tale. Uh, that, oh, that leads no. directly into my thing that I was going to say, which is, is Garfield a furry? Please, okay. No, Garfield's a cat. Garfield's but a he's fucking cat Tay. No, he's an anthropomorphic cat. He stands no, on his yeah. giant legs. <laughs> He eats human foods. He's just a fucking cat, Tay. But is, is he a furry? He's America's number one cat. He's a cat, Tay. How many times do you have to say it? He's America's l lasagna loving cat. <laughs> He's a cat. Hey, is the is like the dark rabbit hole that Jim Davis is taking us down with this? Thing? Like l Jim Davis is kind of orange pilling us all, right? Is he trying <laughs> to like secretly? Is he? Is he trying to teach us about mental health and, like, sneak it into kids' media? <laughs> I, I really like Orange Pill. <laughs> Let's dive deeper and find out. What's Garfield's favorite bird? Turkey? What? A swallow. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, Jim? You nasty as hell. <laughs> oh, no. This the, the the answer isn't so much, but it's like again we're going down at Jim. Maybe we needed a proofreader. What? What? <laughs> you can't even fucking say it <laughs> because it's so obvious. <laughs> what ball does Garfield catch the most? <laughs> I think Garfield is gay. <laughs> or as Matt Damon would say, Garfield is, you know, what Matt Damon would say. You know what Matt Damon would say. <laughs> what kind of balls does Garfield catch, Tyler? It's a hairball. No, it's a meatball. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. But it still wasn't a good look that the question was, what kind of balls does Garfield like to catch? <laughs> At least the answer wasn't Jim's balls or John's balls. John's balls. <clears throat> All right. Momentary reprieve. Mm -hmm. We need a moment Thank of God. brevity. We definitely need it. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Who's there? Ida. Ida who? <sighs> Ida the lasagna. Garfield's a coming. <laughs> 
What? Man. Jim. Jim was so Jim. ahead of his time. That is 2021 <laughs> funny like nothing else. That's really good. Bro wrote that 26 years ago. <laughs> oh, my God. And we're back to needing a proofreader. What's the difference between Odie and a nail? Is this another pound one? Garfield doesn't it's need a hammer to pound Odie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's got one, if you know what I mean. When is Odie like a door? When, uh, when Garfield when? slams him? When Garfield slams him. <laughs> what the fuck, Jim? <laughs> Holy did shit. You, did you leaf through this book in the store at all and go, oh, no. Or did no, you I saw it this? and I bought it. I knew I was getting heat. So Garfield is a gay radical leftist because cop, have you ever been arrested? Garfield. Yes. After my nap, I'm always arrested. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck the cops. <sighs> Fuck. Don't talk to the pigs, Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> and there's and, just one in there that's like what is garfield's favorite political ideology marxism and it just moves on like nothing happened they have like top 10 lists in here and one of these things is top 10 toys for delinquent cats and um again <laughs> garfield is a radical leftist because some of these um let's just number eight officer mcgruff punching bag <laughs> yeah jesus all right all right Number seven, tiny brass knuckles. Hell yeah. What the fuck? Cats are organized criminals. Number six, yarn noose. Hell yeah. What? No, it does not fucking say that. Yeah. Number three, piano wire. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jim. <laughs> was Jim just schizophrenic and thought that every cat was out to fucking murder him? Upper class mice. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Welcome to the resistance, comrade Garfield. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he can be the mascot. How can you tell when Garfield's birthday party is over? When or how? The riot police go home. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I think Jim was trying to say something. Yeah. What hey, the he fuck? also hey, didn't understand quick, what a joke was. Quick question. Did Garfield radicalize me? <laughs> was I orange pilled? <laughs> was I orange pilled? You, I think you may have been orange pilled. I think Garfield radicalized me, which is just an incredibly funny sentence. Mm, you know, the Garfield <laughs> to Marxist pipeline. Yeah, he, yeah, Jim was radical because this prompt. I have good and bad news, Mr. Smith. The bad news is you need a very expensive operation. What's the good news, doctor? Now I can afford that new Mercedes. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Jim Davis and Garfield said, we reject for-profit health care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this one's kind of funny, but also, hey, Jim, what's your target audience here? <laughs> Doctor, what would you say if I told you I had a brain tumor? I'd say it was all in your head. Oh. Oh, oh Jim. Oh, boy. Oh, Jim. Oh, that, oh, that's not good. That one doesn't, that one doesn't sit right. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to gay Garfield. <laughs> How did Garfield swallow an entire room? <laughs> I hope it's worth a smile <laughs> With a little smile and a lot of determination <laughs> That's not the answer, that's just funny Oh fuck, that's how Angela White did it too the real answer is, it was a mushroom. Oh, my God. A oh mushroom tip, God. hello? Yeah. Oh, my God. Gar we stand Garfield's gay iconry. 
Garfield is a gay communist icon. <laughs> okay, last joke here. <clears throat> Why is Garfield like a basketball? Orange and striped? He's orange fat and slams. They're both round, orange, and frequently stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't. You can't, Jim. <laughs> Jim, oh god jim really did the damn thing jim fucking yeah went for it and this person who apparently okay i'm gonna try and show you this here but if you can't see it that's fine because i'm gonna describe it you know how like at the end of the book there's always like you know you can order more books from us yeah like right. like print like cut the next page out and mail it and then yeah well, um, this person who owned this book apparently fucking loved Jim Davis's sick brand of humor because mm -hmm. there's all of these Garfield books right here. And like, oh, if you want any, like check which ones you want and send us money and write it down here. They checked every single fucking yeah, yep. box. Yep. And the cutout of, like, keep this portion and send the other portion, the receipt portion shows that they paid 220 American dollars in the year 1994 for every single fucking Garfield book. Tyler, wow. you got to go deep in on your research. Like, look, once you've been orange-pilled, you're deep down the lasagna hole. And there's <laughs> <laughs> Down the lasagna. This, holy shit. Garfield orange pilled this person. Yep. They, yeah. They, this is honestly, when people ask me if I read theory, I say, yeah. <laughs> and I pull out, I pull out my Garfield's big fat hairy joke book with all of my bookmarks in it and be like, I study theory. <laughs> oh my God. Holy this shit. is what Marxists wanted for us. Mm -hmm. Marxists were we're clamoring for us to get this book in our hand. This is essentially the Garfield manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Tay, please, please save us do, from this before we get know, too deep in. Do you, know, do you know what else Marxists want to silence this podcast? So go ahead, leave a like, favorite, comment, and or review wherever applicable. It really helps the show out. Gets us into curated lists and helps us beat that algorithm. Also gives us more stuff to talk about on the show. We love talking about your comments and getting feedback from you guys. So feel free to go ahead and do so. Podcatchers. There's a lot of them and we're on all of them. So go to whichever one you like the most for your podcast. And boy, we're going to be there putting some good Garfield comedy right in your ears. Also, if you like this show and you haven't checked out our YouTube channel, please go do that at youtube.com slash shapeless media. There's damn near 700 videos now. So you better find something you like. And if you don't, don't tell me because it'll hurt my feelings. Look, folks, um, the financial burden that came <laughs> upon me from buying this Garfield book and look folks I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it real with you at home there were a lot of Garfield books and I'm gonna be honest I didn't buy just one so I need to recoup oh, no. some of those finances okay yeah, yeah so yeah. if y'all could do me a real big solid go to poddex.com and use code swordwatch at checkout to get 10% off your first order that would be phenomenal uh because it would slip some money my way and Share the podcast with your friends. Like, if you got friends and they're into Garfield and they don't know that Garfield is a gay communist, <laughs> show them this podcast to get us more views so I can recoup some of that money. Folks, I'm drowning in Garfield debt over here. Mm -hmm. And it's not fun. It's mm -hmm. not like drowning in lasagna or meatballs or, like, napping. It's not fun. I'm, I'm tits up right now. Like, I'm begging you. Please help us out. Poddex.com, Swordwatch, 10% off your first order. I'm really in debt to this big orange cat. Well, this is normally the part of the show where we end on the pod deck last laugh, but I do think that what we have to do here is do the Garfield last laugh. So, Tyler, <clears throat> if you could find a delicious, delicious joke from that book, please carry us away. <clears throat> what happened when Garfield met the pan of lasagna? What? Uh, what? It was love at first 
bite. <laughs> <laughs> You know what the best part? You know what the best, the absolute number one best part about this bit is? What? That Tori is going to have to search Garfield gay communist for a thumbnail. (laughs) Again, you're going to want to turn on that VPN. Yeah, you're going to want to turn on that VPN. (sighs) All right. I can't just leave it at that. We got to end it with... um, one of the one of the gay communist ones. Yes, of course. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Jim. What would you get if you crossed a pig with a tree? A calculator? A porker pine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my he God. hates cops, but he fucks them. Is is <laughs> that's that's how we show he hate fucks them. <laughs> is is Garf sexual a thing? Can we have a flag for that? No! No. He's not a furry. No. He's a cat. <laughs> He's a fucking cat. Look, hey, stop trying to fit everything into your agenda. You don't have to make it political, Tay. Hey.